everyone, welcome back. It's me, Anishka. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm here to review a new product and it's by EX1. It's the Pure Crushed Minerals Powder Foundation. So this sounds so intriguing and I was just like, I need to do a review on it. Um, I don't read, this is gonna be a different kind of video because I usually wear foundation. But when I used to work on counter, a lot of customers would wear just powder on a daily basis. Um, and I feel like because this is a mineral kind of powder, I feel like I could, you know, I just want to try it on, on its own and see how it works on my skin. Because I've never really done that where I've just worn powder. I think I used to do it back in the day, but I don't know. So I thought it would be a good idea to try it on camera. But before we go on to the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's post notification shout out goes to Anissa. So thank you, Han, for watching and for sharing the love and for the support. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to get a post notification shout out next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button, comment so when you have done so. I give post notification shout outs to people who said that, that they've pressed the bell button or people that I see comment a lot so that you know because I know you guys have pressed the button before so um, yeah so people who I see often or people who have mentioned that they just pressed it. So this is what the foundation looks like it's their classic EX1 packaging you kind of just twist it off like this and the powder comes out like so. I've searched it up online and it says it's a pure crushed mineral based foundation for a natural minimalistic look. Finely milled minerals buff into skin like a dream for a barely there yet flawless finish. Paraben free and dermatologically tested, 100% oil and fragrance free, non comedogenic, talc and bismuth free, 100% mineral base, no fillers, contains antioxidants and vitamin E, light sheer coverage for a fresh and flawless look, buffs into the skin effortlessly and buildable yet breathable. And this is available on Look Fantastic for £13. They have 12 shades. I do love a lot of EX1 products, but when it comes to their base, I think they're doing really well in terms of like olive and yellow tones. Um, I do feel like in the future they make, should maybe look into expanding their shade range because I feel like they have expanded, they used to have four and then they expanded to 12, which is amazing. You know, I can, I can always praise improvement and there is always room for improvement. So I feel like they could definitely think about, you know, expanding their shade range and maybe adding more paler and more deeper skin tones um, on each end and also maybe expand the brown shades. My skin's already moisturized from this morning, so I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to take a powder and try on one side and we're going to see how this goes. So I'm just, I've just put some on the lid and I'm going to use like a small fluffy brush. Just so it does say like sheer to light coverage. It's definitely sheer. It feels so weird to put powder just on my skin. I think I'm just gonna like put it all over, just like this. That's what it's looking like up close. So the colour is definitely perfect for me. It's just really evened out my skin tone, like there's definitely not much coverage, but it's evened slightly. I'm trying to see if it's buildable. Okay, so it's not going ashy around my mouth. It's just made my skin look very even, naturally. It still looks like my skin. That's what it looks like up close. It hasn't dried my skin out or anything. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so my first initial thoughts on the foundation is that it's super natural, definitely super natural. Um, it literally looks like I've barely like done anything to my skin, like it's like I've just put bronzer and a bit of concealer and I've just walked out the door. 
um, it's actually really flattering like it it actually makes me feel good about myself like, like does my skin actually look like this with like a little bit of powder um, it's definitely buildable I don't know it just enhances your natural skin like it's definitely sheer to light coverage you can definitely build with it um, just use like a dense kind of little fluffy brush normal powder brush I use these are by um, Doe Color by the way on Amazon um, this is a normal brush I use but this is just like a tiny denser one but still fluffy and it just is perfect for this product um, the powder did not go ashy one bit anywhere especially around my mouth I was a bit skeptical about it because I didn't color correct or anything I mean you can still see a bit of darkness but you know it, it kind of adds to the natural look like it's still my skin but just a little bit enhanced you guys always ask me to kind of review more natural products especially if you because you guys are working in um, more in an office environment or um, you go to school and stuff and you just want something um, really really natural so I feel like this is a really good option I have dry combination skin and it's slightly gone dry on my chin and a bit on my nose but it's not obvious like I kind of just brushed the flakiness away and it kind of went I probably wouldn't recommend it for dry skin types because I feel like this would definitely dry you out um, it's more dry to combination or combination or oily skin I think this would look really really nice on you I'm really really happy with the way it looks I'm surprised like it really softened my skin and by the way my bronzer and highlight blended seamlessly on top of it I think I've only got good things to say on it so far for what it is and it has vitamin E in it to revitalize the skin when do you think I have a foundation on but it's just a mineral powder I do have the lighter colors so I feel like I could use them to highlight my under eyes afterwards like after putting my concealer um, even the concealer, I put it after the powder and it didn't go patchy or anything. Hasn't it like really softened my skin? Okay, so it's now around 10.30am. I'm going to be keeping this on for the rest of the day. I will be back later on today. I'm back now guys, I'm in a different setting because all my equipment is upstairs. I'm going to end the video here, it is now around 6.30 and I've had this foundation on for let's say 7 to 8 hours and I'm pretty pleased with it. Let me get a mirror. I've been checking throughout the day and it hasn't done too bad, it's like just melted into my skin. Here's a close up. My lipstick's gone, but it's done so well. No smile lines. The only thing I have to say is I'm a little bit shiny, which I did not expect. I've had this on all day and I haven't had to kind of touch up or anything like that. So I think it's done pretty well. Like it literally just looks like I've just done my makeup. This is really nice for every day. If you like that light coverage look and you just want your skin to breathe and show through, then this is a foundation for you. I probably will wear this like if I'm going to uni, but I would most likely wear this on top of foundation because it's super lightweight. Um, honestly, it feels like I don't have any makeup on. So I think it's done really, really well. Like it's held up really well. It hasn't gone patchy anywhere. Some areas it has come off actually on my nose, but it doesn't look patchy because it's so lightweight, like you barely see the difference unless you look pop up close. But everywhere on my cheeks, on my forehead, it's all good. It always like rubs off here and on my nose, but... Anyways, I think I've got only good things to say about this for what it is. It's a light sheer mineral powder foundation, super lightweight, just evens out the skin, something quick and easy to use. And I think I have to, I'm going to rate it a 9 out of 10. It's super affordable. I think they definitely need to up their shade range. I hope you found this video helpful. And if there are any new products you want me to review for you guys, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.